today we're going to be talking about the new game from the company Tecmo, which I don't know how many of you guys have heard of Tecmo. Um, the probably the last true successful game was way back when, like old school Tecmo Bowl back in the Nintendo Entertainment System. Um, that they've released a new game trying to kind of fill the, the gears of war void right now once we're waiting between number two and number three. It's called Quantum Theory. In Quantum Theory you play as Sid, who isn't quite human, but isn't quite alien, kind of a in-between type thing. And he is a mercenary soldier trying to eliminate the infestation that is causing destruction of all humanity. And um, which is kind of cool. It's this disease infested thing where if it touches you as a human, you automatically turn into one. And then you have to kill your friend who just was fighting on your side but now is trying to kill you. So he's got to get through to this tower and invade and destroy this tower to try to help rid the planet of this infestation. Now, joining him in his quest is the beautiful Nyx, named, I believe it's Felinia, Felinia, something like that, I couldn't get the pronunciation of the game. And she's more of a nimble stealth fighter, while you're more of, you know, the shooter, punch him out type. And it's kind of cool, you can work together as teammates and do combo things. But like I said, the game is a is actually a combination of Gears of War crossed with the latest kind of Prince of Persia type games, because you have the Gears of War cover shoot third person style, and then you turn around and you have the partner that you throw and do combos with with hitting and jumping from one place to another in order to make it that came from Prince of Persia. And storyline wise, eh, fairly, you know, your generic sci-fi fantasy storyline, nothing new here, nothing actually that interesting, but it should tide you over with gameplay. Now actual gameplay, we'll start with the Gears of War side. As a shooter, it's good, it works, um, you run, you shoot. Now what it lacks from Gears of War is your, okay, I'm hiding behind one piece of cover and I can switch over to another one really quick. Now I have to back out, I have to run over, get back into cover, which they easily could have stolen from Gears of War to take that and make it more efficient, which is something nice that the Gears of War 2 did. Um, what else it lacked, honestly, in Gears of War was really the ability to focus your fire. You, a lot of the fire was, honestly you swore you were hitting something but it wasn't dying. Like I know I did five headshots using a sniper rifle on a guy and he just wasn't going down. So the physics of it aren't quite there. And one of the things they really, really advertised about this game was the fact that your cover was going to disappear. Like, you'd be behind a wall, and the environment was alive, and so all of a sudden that wall would go down, and you'd be out in the open, and you'd have to move to another cover. Or another cover would pop up way over there, and you got to get to it. It happens a couple times, but it isn't there enough to make it significant in the game, really. Um, which was very disappointing, because that was really a big selling point for me, I know, during the game. And so I got, I got disappointed to see they made very little actual use for this, which really kind of started getting rid of the name of Quantum Theory and the whole point of the game. Um, your gameplay with when you do have uh, the female on your side is kind of fun. The partner up, throwing her, falling up, that was kind of nice. But again, it ends up happening so often you're separated, you're kind of at a loss to even why they ended up including her in there. And you often you often do feel the loss of not having her on your side because it makes it a lot harder and 
it's not as fun. But the actual really, really what kills the game gameplay is the fact that the jumping and stuff. The Prince of Persia side of you're this huge Marcus Phoenix type guy and you're jumping from place to place and you're you're doing almost acrobatics and they really didn't get the physics of that. It's where it's not fun. You die over and over and over again so easily for absolutely no reason. You'll make it through this huge battle and for some reason they'll have you jump from one platform to another with absolutely no reason or need for it and you die. And there's no... you shouldn't have. They shouldn't be that hard. They shouldn't be that technical in this type of game. And that really killed the game for me. Um, voice acting was okay. Music actually was fairly good and fairly interesting. If they just sold the soundtrack, I would just buy the soundtrack for the game. But I would put this up as one of those rent it if you want for a day. It's a quick playthrough, honestly. Not too complicated, not too hard to learn. And then take it back and don't worry about it anymore.